so as i told you already uh, you can use lamy's theorem in the case of three vectors which form the sides of a triangle so in the last example we discussed about uh, forces that act at a point and keeps the object in equilibrium here uh, there are uh, two jets jet a and uh, jet b and what is the condition given let us uh, try to visualize it and jet a is flying east suppose if this is uh, northeast at last notation if you take up so jet a is flying east this way but jet b is actually flying 45 degree north of east so this way it is flying exactly 45 degree but to jet a because the fellow green is jet a let me do that this fellow is jet a or we will call it velocity of a and this one is velocity of b what is velocity but for jet a the velocity of b is actually 60 degree that means it seems to be like this at 60 degree this is velocity of b with respect to a it is 60 degree like that so what is relative velocity you already know that relative velocity of b with respect to a is vb minus va so what we are supposed to do is you have to just change the direction of this then let us cut that then you i mean instead of doing this i will just copy this diagram just right so it how we need to proceed with this so relative velocity of b with respect to a means velocity of b as observed from a is vb minus va for that what we are supposed to do we have to do vb minus va then in order to make va minus we have to give it a 180 degree rotation so let's give 180 degree rotation okay now it is exactly opposite to that so this is minus va because we have changed the direction so it is minus va now vb minus va means from the tail of this to the head of this what we are supposed to do then this is velocity as observed by a this is actually I shouldn't be rotating it will be like this okay so this is what VBA this is what velocity of B with respect to A now you know the angles right so this is actually 45 degree and this is actually 60 degree and you know this is 45 and 60 obviously this angle is 75 so the question they are asking is like um, flap jet a is going towards east jet b is actually 45 degree uh, north of east and the velocity as observed by a is it is going away at 60 degree from it so now this velocity a velocity b velocity vb a relative velocity all form the sides of a triangle then you can easily apply lamis theorem so according to lamis theorem now it is velocity the modulus so va by sin 75 degree equal to vb by sin 60 degree equal to velocity of b with respect to a is sin 45 degree what you already know is only the velocity of a so the velocity of a so i'll have to calculate this so you just need to find out like what is relative velocity what is the actual velocity anything you can find using this if you compare these two the actual velocity of b you will get velocity of a they have given 800 km per hour and by sine 75 sine 75 is somewhere between root 3 by 2 and 1 which will be equal to velocity actual velocity of b by sine 60 degree sine 60 degree is root 3 by 2 this will be little more than root 3 by 2 so little more than root 3 by 2 by little more than root root 3 by 2 will have value little less than that so approximately i have calculated so vb equal to 800 into root 3 by 2 by 
sine 75 degree which will be approximately 717 kilometer per hour and you obviously know that because if this is 800 and uh, when this VA is going this way, VB is going this way. If its velocity is more than this, it appears to be going either this way or this way. Because it is receding at 60 degree, you obviously know that, you obviously know that it is actually like its velocity is less than that of this. So, we have found out. If they ask you what is the velocity of, uh, relative velocity of B with respect to A, so it is VBA equal to sin 45 degree by sin 60 degree. I am basically comparing these two right now or you can compare VBA with VA also into velocity of B which is 717 kilometer per hour which we have right now find out. I hope this example would help you to apply this in ways that you have uh, not done previously. In most of the relative velocity concepts, if you use Lamis theorem, that is of great use. In fact, you can avoid so many confusions.